Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing today? So I'm currently sitting in my car, still in the garage, haven't even left yet. But I uh, I decided I've been working a lot of morning shifts and uh, I got done at like two today. I've been going in at six, getting done at two and it's a gorgeous day. It's like 45 degrees out. It's a Tuesday and I was like, you know what? There's new Blu-rays coming out. I haven't done an out and about video like this in a long time. So I figured... Let's uh, head out and see what's going on out there. I know we got the um, Lionsgate Steelbook of Requiem for a Dream coming out. Um, I know that there's uh, Last Night in Soho coming out on 4K and Blu-ray and I believe even DVD. I know Blue Underground's got some new releases out, which we probably won't see in store. A new, a new Dario Argento uh, movie is out on Blu-ray. Um, well, not new, but probably new to uh, the format. Um, and I think the uh, Toolbox Murders is out. Um, there's a new Mario Bava film that got released to Arrow called Shock. We probably won't see that in stores. Um, Candyman 3 is coming out on Vestron. Um, I know Criterion's uh, has uh, f some 4Ks coming out, or at least one 4K. The uh, Beatles, It's a Hard Day's Night, I believe, is coming out on 4K. I think there's another movie called Time coming out. Um, there's a bunch of stuff coming out. I don't know how much of it we'll actually see in stores, but uh, figured yeah, I haven't done really, uh, I haven't really done like an out and about video in a long time, and haven't been out in the stores in a while. I mean, I'll check the shelves, see what kind of NECA figures we can find, see what's out there. So uh, let's uh, head out there and see what we can find. Let's get going. <laughs> So they got the Adams Family 2 for $24.99 on Blu-ray. Looks like they have the Adams Family and Adams Family 2 uh, DVD for $26.99. Last Night in Soho DVD $19.99. Blu-ray $24.99. No 4K. And they still have some of the Halloween Kills 4K and Blu-ray for $24.99 and $29.99. Spencer that came out a few a uh, couple weeks back. Um, Cobra Kai Season 3, 1999. Dune, 32.99, 26.99 for the Blu-ray. You know, I, I might actually pick this up because I picked up the uh, Steelbook um, from Best Buy and it sold out right away and it's selling for ridiculous amounts of money. So I don't know, I might sell it. Yeah, that's about all I see. You got the antlers. I've heard good things about that, but I'm gonna wait, I think. Picked up the French Dispatch. Haven't watched it yet, though. Um, I don't see... Sometimes they carry the Shout Selects. Um, so I thought maybe... And I forgot that um, Liar Liar came out today, too. So I thought maybe I'd see that here. But I did not. Um, I want to see this Demon Slayer. That looks kind of cool. Got some cool anime here for not badly priced either. A few things here, not too badly priced. Most of it's like $14.99. Some's a little more spendy. Uh, but I'm not seeing the um, Requiem for a Dream Steelbook. I don't know if that was an exclusive or what, but I'm not seeing that here. This is cool to see because honestly, lots of times you come here and there's not that much, but there's quite a bit on the shelves today. I haven't really delved into it to see like what is that is new or not new, but uh, like here's this. This came out last week. I've been out in a while. I've been hearing good things about this. That's a pretty cool looking slip cover though. They got that for ooh twenty two ninety nine. That's a good deal. Got yeah, Framed Roger Rabbit for $24.99. That's been off for a little bit. That one it's hard to get for a while, but it seems to be all over the place now. They have the Batman Year One, which is still $26.99. I'm gonna wait till that gets a little lower. Still got plenty of the Swines Gate 31 here. So I've heard good things about this too. The card counter. Uh, Looks like it's a Martin Scorsese 
presentation. Got that for $22.99. Oh, so let's check out the NECAs. It's been a while since so I've been here. Look at this. They got the 3D. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this here before. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. So obviously they're they're stocking the shelves. You got this, yeah, and all the 3D ones. That's really cool, but I don't know if I'm going to pick that up right now. We got some gremlins, some turtles, some King Kongs. I got one of these a couple years back. This is pretty cool, this NECA Friday the 13th. Yeah, somebody's definitely been stocking this because they have some new stuff. Got the ghost face up here. Uh, Terror tunes. Oh, that's only $13. <laughs> It's not bad for 13 bucks. I normally don't like these uh, Toonie Terrors, but that's kind of cool. I'm gonna have to think about that. And they got some It's, some more It. You usually see those all over the place. Some aliens down here. This is kind of cool. Every time I see this in here, I always think about picking it up this Blade Runner, but I always end up passing. One of these days, I'm not going to be able to find it, and I'm going to regret, regret not getting it, but I think I'm going to pass again today. And this is cool, too. I've seen this before, this little Michael Myers. I just don't know if it's $17.99 cool. The family. Those are all really cool, but for $18, I don't know about that. This is crazy too, because this part up here in the front of the store, this never usually has stuff in it. It's got Dune. It's got the Adams Family and Adams Family 2. The, the Halloween Kills. They normally never have anything new up here. I don't see last night in Soho up here, but at least they have stuff that's somewhat new. It's good to see. Anything on this side? No, not really. It's good to see. At least they're starting to fill this with some new stuff. I mean, this is new. But no last night in Soho, but they did have it the other day. I'm looking for this movie. I can find it on 4K. The 4K seems to be very tough to find. All right, guys. Well, we just got out of Target, and I got to tell you, they had some stuff in there. They didn't have everything, but they had some new stuff out there, which was nice to see. And they had some stuff... A couple new things that in that front uh, new release thing that's in front of the store that hardly ever has anything in it. I think last time I saw it, it was stuff that came out like four months ago. So they didn't have a whole lot up there, but they did have one new release. So that was nice. And they had some of the stuff that came out last week up there. So that was nice to see. The NECA section was nice. They also had uh, um, a few other like NECA type stuff like that Halloween mask, which I already have. Not Halloween mask. I'm sorry. The... Uh, Friday the 13th mask, which I, uh, I already have, but that was cool to see. And they had the cool little Halloween, um, was it Terror, Terror Tunes or something? For not a bad price. It was kind of cool, 13 bucks, but mm, I didn't really feel like spending the money on that. And it was cool to see that 3D uh, NECA figure, which I didn't really feel like spending 30 bucks on a NECA figure today, but it was just kind of cool to see that they have restocked it. it it had been a long time i mean the last like six or seven times i was in here nothing was restocked so it was it was really nice to see um so yeah so let's head over to walmart i think i'm just going to go to walmart and um yeah see what kind of stuff they have over there i'm hoping to find that candy man uh vestron over there um last time i went to this walmart they were pretty well stocked it was pretty nice so uh yeah so let's head over there and see what we can find love this Walmart. They have so many movies. So much stuff. Mm. This is pretty cool. I picked this up the other day. I got the Blu-ray version though. Alright, so we got Dune and Halloween Kills. We got the new Adams Family 2299 17, 17, 17.96 on DVD. 
that last night in Cell Hall. I'm only seeing Blu-ray and uh, DVD, so they got the Blu-ray for $22.96 and $17.96 for the DVD. And there's the last duel on Blu-ray and DVD, but again, no 4K. That one is very tough to find. Oh, they have Black Friday, which I wanted to see. That came out a few weeks back, $12.96. Only on DVD, though. I'm not gonna buy that on DVD for $13. Here's this, I thought this was kind of cool. This little set they have here from Blu-ray. This little collector set. It's kind of cool. For uh, $29.96. The last song here, I've never heard of this. It's a cool slip though, $14.96 on Blu-ray. Here's the new Candyman, but I'm looking for the Candyman 3 that came out today. So hopefully they have it here somewhere. I just say their organization's a little, a little all over the place. Here's some $5 titles. Not anything super exciting, not really anything that I'm really looking for. It's kind of cool, I just got that Texas Chainsaw just the other day. And I got that Gremlins too the other day. It's pretty cool. Lots of different pop figures, really not too many I'm looking for, but... Kind of cool. Figgy <laughs> Pop, it's pretty funny. These are kind of cool. I've never seen these before. That's Friday the 13th collection. We've got like, like a Wolfman, Meg. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street figure. Teen Wolf. And he's got like a hodgepodge of all different kinds of stuff. Is this Pennywise? I've seen this before. I think this actually goes for a little bit of money. Another one of these ghost face. That, like, that's really cool artwork, but I'm not going to spend freaking $35 for it. I picked up a, uh, a Halloween Michael Myers one last time I was here. It actually had some pretty cool stuff in it. For wasn't too bad for $10. If you're looking for Valentine stuff, they got it. All this different Valentine stuff with all these different slips on it. It's pretty cool. These are kind of cool. These little slips. There's Spider-Man, $14.96. Most of these are blue. Right? Ghostbusters is cool. It's always cool to see some Scream Factory here. That's a cool box set. I have that. I'm still looking for that. Um, Candyman 3. Could have swore they had it. They normally have the best drawn titles here. But I guess I'll just keep looking and hopefully I can find it. Well, I found the tag for it. But it's not out here. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I might see if I can ask. They just didn't put it out or what. But there's not really anybody working over here, though. I haven't seen an employee in like 10 minutes. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see if I can find it. So, I just got out of the Walmart. Uh, no luck finding that Candyman 3. Trying to get help in there is like pulling teeth. So I just ordered it online. Amazon didn't have it, so I ordered it from Walmart, thinking I would just have it shipped. But apparently, it's now curbside pickup for some time tomorrow. I was going to, and I can't figure out how to cancel it. It won't let me cancel the order. So either one, it'll be ready tomorrow and I can go pick it up. Or two, they're going to send me a thing saying it's not available. And then it'll get canceled. I'll have to figure out another way to get it. But I looked at other places that I did, like Best Buy is sold out. I think Target had it and that's sold out. So it must be a very high in demand um, Vestron title. So yeah, so today was fairly uneventful. I didn't uh, really get anything i i didn't get anything at all except for the uh last night in soho on 4k which uh should be getting delivered at some point um today hopefully it's already delivered so uh yeah um i'm just gonna head back home real quick we'll see if that's there we'll open that up and i can show that off at least i have something to show and 
yeah, I didn't get anything in the Walmart. They had some cool stuff, but I saw some cool stuff today, but there, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, releases that uh, that were in store. So yeah, it's kind of kind of an uneventful video, but at least I got out and about and it was nice to see uh, a few things. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna see if we got that title and um, yeah, I can at least show off the last night in Soho. So I'll see you there. All right, guys, well, this was out there um when i got home so i'm assuming this is last night in soho so let's just open it up here so dramatic that is a beautiful slip that is really cool i'm very uh very impressed with this just the colors and it's nice and shiny it gleams it's very cool. I'm very excited to watch this, too. I'm a big Edgar Wright fan. Um, so I'm hoping this is good. So I'll probably do, um, I don't know if I'll, I'll probably do like an unboxing and a review at some point this week. Um, but, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I didn't see this at all in stores. I only saw the uh, Blu-ray and, um, and the DVD. So it's, uh, it's cool to get this on 4K. That's one thing I've noticed, too. Is a lot of these 4Ks, it seems like they're getting hard to find in stores. You almost got to get them online, but it's very cool. So, yeah, that was really my only pickup today. And then the uh, Candyman 3, if that comes in. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see what actually happens with that. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.